What's up guys and welcome to a new video. We are far ahead of the upload schedule. Uh, as I post once a week, I'm filming into like mid-August right now. So hopefully this aligns up properly because we're still like, so what is it, July, July 30th today. Um, it's a big day today because judging from my last video when we were at Peak 360, I was talking to the owner, um, Guido Trinidad, at Peak 360 where, you know, some of the world's top CrossFit competitors train at, combined following of millions, like pretty sick overall. Um, but there's talks of having our bumper plates in the Peak 360 gym. So like a madman, I'm running to the gym right now, grabbing all of our 45 pound bumper plates. I'm gonna drop them off at 360 today or at Peak today. Um, basically get them to test them and see if there's a fit uh, so really exciting stuff all around. Huge, huge, huge lineup. Um, next couple days happening here. We have tomorrow I fly to Houston and check on things at our warehouse there. And then after that, I fly to Calgary uh, to see our new Canadian warehouse. Plus conveniently, I have a wedding there that I'm one of the best men at. So I have a big speech prepared, all that stuff. It's busy, man. And then from there, we go back to Vancouver to, you know, kind of clean up the atmosphere warehouse, get ready to get that thing or get out of that thing. Essentially, I'll get into the lease and stuff like that. In another video on what's happening with that. Um, um, but essentially taxes went up crazy. We can get bigger space in Calgary for 80% less of the cost, 75% less of the cost. So absolute no brainer for us to say the least. Yeah, just kind of opening up this video because it's gonna be a little messy because we'll be in Houston and who knows if Houston will carry over to Calgary or what's exactly gonna happen. But yeah, stay tuned, should be a sick video either way. How you been? What's that? Oh, it's been sick. Awesome. Plates loaded, just 445s. Let's get to peak. All right, guys, we got peak in the background. Rainy day, but we dropped the plates. I was open gyms, no one's really there. I don't really know who to drop them off with, like Noah Olson and all those guys are working out. So pretty sick. We'll see how they do. It's a plate. It's a nice bumper plate. So we'll leave it at that. What's up guys and good morning. So yesterday we dropped off the plates at peak 360. Hell yeah, so exciting. Today we are traveling to Houston uh, and then after that we're going to Calgary and then Vancouver as I was saying to do the whole warehouse move, see the family, all that fun stuff. So what today's vlog is about is how I stay on track while traveling because there's a lot going on. It's gonna be very, very busy. We're gonna be working a ton and I gotta make sure I get my meals in. At the same time, we don't wanna overeat. So. The really great thing about this is I'm planning ahead, man. Super simple. So we have breakfast right now. Got 70 grams of oats. So the idea, I always have the oats, but the idea is the oats are gonna keep you full for a long period of time. So I'm only flying for like three hours, airport travel, maybe five hours in the like kind of traveling total. Um, and then we got two of these, we got two of these pancakes here cooking right now. Um, these are really sick. Two of those are only 80 calories. They're not protein pancakes or anything like that. They're just kind of like nice, dense uh, pancakes. Uh, I think it's like King Arthur's the brand, keto style pancakes. Yeah. Pretty sick. Definitely good, super filling, all that fun stuff. So yeah, I'll take you guys along for the ride. We got meals prepped for today at the warehouse, a lot of fun stuff. I literally have ground beef and potatoes in Ziploc bags. Don't judge me, man. Yeah, it looks a little miserable, but I'll tell you what, I feel a lot more miserable if I fucked up on my diet and overate or had to get Chick-fil-A or fast food or something really yummy, but then you just kind of sabotage your day and you eat something that you kind of wanted, but you don't really get to cheat because it's just something to like fill the gap. So I'll take you through all that, but without further ado, we're gonna finish eating and then we're gonna hit the road. <laughs> What's up guys, we are back in Houston, Texas. The, the land of the free? I guess Miami's the land of the free, but there's a lot of like, K -K -K, a lot of like Spanish heritage in there, but this is the land of the true freedom. Gonna go to the warehouse right away. We got the rental car, We're stuck on the tarmac for like 40 minutes, crying babies, all that. Close to a mental breakdown, to be honest, back there. Um, but we made it, so you know the warehouse, but there's a bit too much traffic, so we're gonna change course. We're gonna hit the old house, see what's going on, if it's still for sale or what's happening there. And then we're gonna hit HEB right away, the grocery store of grocery stores. HEB does trump Aldi because while the prices are similar, actually Aldi price is probably a little bit better, but HEB is just always massive. They have everything there, way more selection. Prices really aren't that much more. Love that. So we're gonna go see what we can get to eat today because 
I did have some of that ground beef, but plane is really hot and I'm kind of worried it got a bit warm. So we'll set that out with some groceries as backup. And yeah, I'm gonna go to the warehouse, get a whole bunch of work done. It's already four o'clock, so it's gonna be a long night. Find the hotel, repeat all day tomorrow, and then boom, we're off to Calgary. So 24 hours in Houston pretty much starts now. Yo, fun fact, if it focuses, we used to live in that building right there, huge building. Like, I can't remember how many floors, like 50 something. Guys, very exciting. I am exhausted, but we just pulled up to HEB, so let's take you around. It's a very, very, very busy grocery store. I don't have my mic as well, so I'll show you guys some stuff for just like kind of the store layouts, and then I'll probably do a voiceover what food I picked and why, because you will not be able to hear a goddamn thing in this place. It's 4.30 p.m. right now. The store will be insanely busy. Nevertheless, let's pop into it. <music> Right, guys haul complete got one of these destroyed it i don't really eat protein bars because i don't know it's a lot of calories but they're great for on the go i just like would rather eat like a bunch more volume because i'm a hungry hungry guy with not a lot of cows in the bank we're gonna head over to the old house as well see how that's doing see if there's any damage from the hurricane just for fun and then it's on to the warehouse looks okay to me thought it might have been like damaged Still for sale, empty, and no for lease sign, which is good. We actually got in a bit of an altercation with the lady there. So, weird to think I lived there a few months ago. Now we live in Miami, it's really different. I was talking about like feeling like I don't have a home. And I know this is probably for like another video topic, but yeah, I just moved around so much. I've never really called a place home for that too long. Miami is gonna be that place, but yeah. So Miami feels like home home, but when you move around so much, you just kind of get numb to it, I guess. And then you're always traveling as well. So it's not like it, it, I'm blessed to be doing all this. Freaking blessed, don't get that twisted. But yeah, let's hit the warehouse now. What's up guys, and we made it to the warehouse, pumped. I don't know if you remember the office we had set up here. Um, pretty sick, that kind of whole couch area, stuff like that. It's not super, super clean. It's been raining a ton, so the floors are pretty dirty, but nothing crazy, just would rather not. Ah, it's not terrible. For my standards, it's not good, but it's not like, I don't know. There's just like a little bit dirty. It just, I hate it, it bugs me. It's just something I gotta deal with in my life. But anyways, the HEB haul was super, super solid. So I just wanna show you guys what I got, cause I'm gonna be pretty much here for 24 hours. Low key, my meat, I had some on the plane, and then everything else prepared got two hot um i still need it fast enough the plane there's like crying babies all this stuff it was just like a disaster and then we were delayed on the tarmac for an hour my rental car was all messed up so they just like the meat just sat too long and fully defrosted then got warm so i just cut my loss there and just starved myself essentially till i got the heb i love me some heb so i'll show you guys what i got for the next like 24 hours now <clears throat> this might not look like a ton for some people, but we have tortillas and they're really sick. I've already eaten a bunch of them. Uh, 60 cals per tortilla. These like carb counter zero, whatever these are, they're sick. HEB like super hot pico de gallo, shredded chicken that's already cooked. So easy. Um, of course we got some Frank's hot sauce, zero cows as always. You can tell I've dipped into it because I literally already have Frank's on my hands. Um, ghost energy drinks, of course, three for six, three <laughs> for six, super sick. Um, and then fat-free cheese, HEB brand, super sick, 40 cows per serving. Um, it's, yeah, it's like a bit more rubbery for sure, but super low cows and has some good flavor to it. And then I had to get some paper plates, not super environmentally friendly, but there's no real way to like do all your dishes here and stuff. So just made it easier for myself. Um, but yeah, that's the haul. Probably not gonna eat like breakfast and stuff like that while I'm here. I have like a bunch of protein powder and protein bars already in the warehouse that I'll probably dive into in the morning. The Lee, I'm so not training tomorrow. So I plan ahead so I don't have to train tomorrow. So I can just go right to Calgary. That'll make things a lot easier too. But I 
going to get into like how I set that up um, because it's a bit different in the terms of like, well, I really did plan like weeks ahead for this trip to make sure it'd be like absolutely dialed. Um, and that like, you know, I plan this off day tomorrow, like a very long time ago in advance just to make sure I didn't have any like guilty pleasures of like not working out or guilty feelings of not working out, I should say. But yeah, I'm rambling. I'm rambling like crazy. You guys get the gist of it. Sick grocery hauls. It'll last me a solid 24 hours. Great food. I'm going to stay on track. And that's that. We're also real quick. Look at how long our grass is. Nuts. It's like a, I don't know if you can see this. Hurricane barrel, it like rain and storm so much that it's just, it's like, that's like nipple height. I'm like 5'11". I wish I was six feet on 5'11", and that's like up to my freaking nipples, man. That's insane. I guess the gardeners aren't coming by because there's just like apparently so much stuff going on from the storm cleanup. They're all so busy. So. Hey, I hope he doesn't catch fire or anything crazy like that. Let's see if this thing starts. So you say if it unlocks? If it unlocks, you got a good chance. It never made a noise, I don't think. <laughs> Not a good start. No, the key uh, went through the wash, so it doesn't. Oh. You need ignition, and you hear. <laughs> then we know. <laughs> ah, the, it's lighting up. Oh, okay. That's, that's a good sign. <laughs> that's dead. Well, it didn't start. I mean, it's not wet inside, though. I wonder how, there must have been like a leak in the roof here. And then in LA, they just got so hot, the water just like came out of it. Why oh, you say that? Look at the back. It's like in the headline, there's like oh. a hole. Dude, this thing, man, this thing's been everywhere with us. That's how they Honda was. I'm honestly finna get it fixed. But it ain't, it ain't even nothing wrong. Oh, your Honda? Yeah. yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, ah, like, it's hot in the house. It's like the battery, um, what you call it? The battery, I think the wiring to the battery is bad. Right Five now. series way sicker anyways. Q's balling out with the whiffs. He's got the nicest whip. <laughs> I'm gonna get it right, Guys, and just like that, we are getting out of Houston. That was a quick 24 hours. Very, 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 very productive. And we stayed on track, man. Easy. If I can stay on track and do all that, then like majority of people should be able to figure that out. Not saying like my life's really hard or I work a lot more than other people, but I do a lot of shit. I don't do as much as everyone, but I do a lot of shit and I got it done and you can too. Use that as some motivation. We are off to the next Better Body Warehouse, the brand new one in Calgary. I'll take you guys along a bit there. I'll show some sneak peeks and then we'll cut out the vlog. I'll do a nice recap. I wanna kinda of talk about all the tips that I talked about in this video and just combine it all into one so it's nice and clean with a nice little ending for y'all. So let's get to Calgary because we are have a flight that leaves in two hours and we're an hour away from the airport and we have a rental car. So, that yeah, should be fine. <laughs> Armed away. Here you drank number three, baby. <laughs> what up, guys? The hair's all messed up. It's midnight flight was delayed which was good but yeah we are in calgary welcome to freaking calgary we're in the antichrist the dodge rebel i guess trx would be antichrist because you know i'm a diehard raptor guy you got some power and you know i got a deal on it to say the least <laughs> it's it's fun it's refreshing because driving that corolla around and not that that's a bad car to drive or anything like that but it just has no like pizzazz it's a very like functional reliable great car but you know there's no like enthusiasm there like even the golf when it's working is more of a fun car and a cheaper car than that newer corolla just because it has a little bit of zip in it you know i also gotta say man the drivers back in canada my hometown they're so slow i don't know what's going on everyone's just like houston man houston's like a jungle for driving to say the least but damn there's a cop there he ain't pulling me over, but they're so strict here too. So strict with speeding, being on your phone, stuff like that. People would be driving way too slow in Canada. The shuttle driver is driving like 30 kilometers, so that's, I don't know, 10, 12 miles per hour, 15 miles per hour, I think, actually. A couple energy drinks for tomorrow morning. Get up early, just got a big day, it's already midnight. We got a power crunch bar, 200 cals. And we got some eggs, uh, 130 cows for both eggs, which is great. I almost caved in there, to be honest, man. I almost caved for like a cookie or something. God damn, that was close, but 
We held true. We held true. We didn't go over our cows today. We probably are much under. But yeah, let's get over to the hotel. La, 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 la. Y'all, we gotta do voice exercises. <laughs> <clears throat> good morning, good morning, good morning. What up guys and good morning from Calgary. So we're gonna hit the little hotel gym here. Didn't look bad from the photos. I couldn't see it last night because they closed at like 11 p.m. and I got in at like 12.30. So we're gonna see it this morning and I wanna show you guys a coffee hack quick. First of all, I slept five hours last night. I think four and a half hours. Getting the gym in, we got a massive day. I'll have the screenshot of like my bedtime schedule that I posted last night. Wanna show you guys a coffee hack though. So we obviously have these like, these like, dehydrated coffee pack samples, right? And the hotel is a Keurig, but you know, I ain't drinking Kirkland breakfast blend. So I ran hot water through the Keurig. Now, oh, oh God. <laughs> okay, so it's hot, it's great. And now I just get the pack and open it up and then you just add it in. Now we have eating around the little coffee this morning. I need something to stir this with, so we're not totally one of these boys. But we're good, sorry, that's my coffee segment. Yeah, I think like a big part of all this, all the tips I've been going over today is staying in your routine and I need my coffee, I need my electrolytes, so we're hitting that up and then we have an energy drink this morning too because I don't have pre-workout yet. Let's go for a lift, I'll show you guys the gym. Bada bing, bada boom. Sick gym. It actually for once looked like the photos, so. Pumped. You'll do weights, probably push day, and then 45 minutes at least of cardio, so. Get into it. <laughs> Very quickly, this is why you don't buy the cheapest shit online. This is a long, 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 long vlog. So breakfast first, protein bar, banana, and I got some energy drinks and stuff here. This one, oh, this one was from last night, and these two are what I got this morning. I'm gonna be at Okotoks for a long time today. This gas station food I'll probably have. But yeah, so I'm gonna wrap up the video when I get on the road to Okotoks. It's a beautiful sunny day, um, and yeah. And then we start the next vlog, which you'll see like very far away from now, but hopefully we, maybe we can bump it up. All right, guys, so we ended this video in the car on the way to the new Calgary warehouse, but I just wasn't happy with the audio in it and just kind of like I was holding the camera all messed up and I'm just trying to make a big effort in these YouTube videos, so I wanted to film this again. And basically, we're gonna recap the video on the full travel from Miami to Houston to Calgary and how I stayed dialed the whole time. The big underlying theme for this whole thing is to prepare yourself for these things days ahead of time to the best of your ability. Like the easiest one was plan my rest day on one of the travel days. I I planned for food, I planned for being hungry. I basically just planned everything out so I wouldn't miss any workouts and I wouldn't cheat on my diet and kind of sabotage myself. Because at the end of the day, like I always talked about, you don't want to have to cheat on your diet when it's not that good of a time doing it. Cause you wake up the next day, you're like, oh, I should have saved that. I should have like saved those cows for another time essentially, right? So that all being said, to recap from the start here, like we started from getting our workouts in before we flew out. We had a whole bunch of food with us. So we started from getting our workouts in before we flew out of Miami. Wow, we got all our workouts in, of course, cardio. And then we had food prepped with us, which got us all the way to Houston. Then we hit HEB and we got a whole bunch of stuff that I could just like eat without cooking. The chicken, all that stuff was key. Again, if you go to an Airbnb, like Instacart your stuff, get all your groceries and you can cook and it's a whole different scenario. But I was like on a really tight timeline. I got a whole bunch of great options that were ready made. So it just made life kind of a lot easier to like microwave, prepare, had a scale there and everything. So I was able to stay on track quite easily. And then when we went from Houston that night to Calgary, I'd eaten a lot during the day. I had a couple of protein bars with me and I was able to cruise all the way till we got to like the 7-Eleven. I think I, I got a banana and another protein bar. I can't remember exactly what I got, but I managed to stay in my deficit. And the whole time, big thing with all this travel and stuff like that is if you have to go over at least just go to your maintenance plan to be in a deficit worst case you go to maintenance and then you don't set yourself back so maintenance being your maintenance calorie so that's not going to make you gain weight or lose weight it's going to be just really clean and you won't go backwards at the end of the day all that being said the biggest thing again just plan ahead man plan ahead i went through all the different angles of you know being able to prepare food for one point then not being able to prepare food the worst case there's also so many like pre-packaged foods at the airport it's, everything's getting so good yes it's expensive but you know you can scan the barcode or you can manually enter whatever how many calories are in something at the airport everything's listed it's very easy so if i were to bring another takeaway from this is just because your environment changes 
and doesn't mean it's an excuse for you to kind of like cheat on your diet or relapse or whatever it is. Like, oh, I'm on a travel day. Like, fuck it. I'm going to drink at the airport and eat and do all this stuff. It's like, man, just like you feel so much better if you kind of just like resist that. Stay dialed. And then when you get to your place, you're so dialed. Like, I, I love the feeling, especially when you're traveling for work. You're not even on vacation or business, whatever it is. Work, business, same thing. But you get the point. So we'll throw in some sneak peeks of the Calgary warehouse. I saw it all today. Very exciting. And then the rest of that is going to be in the next vlog. I'm going to go into a lot of details about why we're doing the move to Calgary, the pros, cons, benefits. That being said, guys, I just want to take the time to thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. Subscribe, comment. There's lots more great content coming. We're really trying to elevate it and make it more interesting for you, the viewer. So that all being said, guys, thank you again, and we'll see you in the next one. That was a cute little smack. We'll see you in the next one.